hello world today we're gonna build this nice simple beautiful amazing epic text typing animation using css only it's actually pretty simple to create animations like this using css even my cat knows how to do this in this tutorial i will teach you step by step exactly how you can create this type of animation or any other animation using css only if you have any questions or some suggestions or you just want to tell me how much you love or hate me, feel free to use the comment section. I will reply to your comment and maybe tell you a funny joke. And let's get started. First, let's create an H1 tag with text CSS text typing animation. If you count the characters in this text including the empty spaces, you will see that it is 26 characters long. This number is important because we will use it later in our CSS code. And that's all for the HTML. And let's start with the CSS code now. First I'm gonna style the body tag. I'm gonna set the margin to 0. Display it to flex. Justify content to center to horizontally center the text and align item center to vertically center the text. Set the height to 100VH, background color to 234 hexadecimal color. Now let's edit the style of our H1 tag. Change the color to white, font family to monospace. font size to 50 pixels set the overflow to hidden which will ensure that the content will not be revealed until the animation border right to 3 pixels solid white which will create the typewriter cursor set white space to no wrap this will make sure that our text will be on a single line and let's create two animations the first one will be named type, the duration will be 6 seconds with 26 steps for the animation timing function. With this we define the number of steps before reaching the end, which basically means that the state of the element will not change gradually, but rather jump from state to state in separate instance. And we use 26 steps because we have 26 characters in our text. If you don't fully understand what I mean by this, don't worry for now. I will explain it one more time once we finish the entire CSS code. It will be easier for you to understand what I mean when you see the code in action. For the animation iteration count, we'll use infinite, which will make the animation start from the beginning once it's finished, and this process will repeat infinitely. The second animation will be named blink, with duration of 0.8 seconds, with step and animation timing, which will make the animation stay at the initial state until the end, when it instantly jumps to the final state. For this one we also want the animation iteration to be infinite. The last thing that we need to do is define the keyframes for these animations. For the first animation named type, we we'll have three keyframe selectors, 0%, 50% and 100%. Where 0% is the beginning of the animation, 50% is when we are in the middle of the animation process and 100% is when the animation is complete. And for each keyframe selector, we will specify CSS styles. For 0%, set the width to 0. For 50%, set the width to 26 characters. and for 100% set the width to 0 again, which will create this cool, beautiful, amazing, epic animation. So on 0% the animation is starting and we have width 0, on 50% the animation process is in the middle and we set the width to 26 characters, and then when the animation is complete we again want the width to be 0. Ok cool, let's define the keyframes for the second animation named blink, use from and to which is the same as 0% and 100%, set the border color to transparent, and on 50% set the border color to white, with this we get the blink effect animation on our typewriter cursor. Great. Let's review the code one more time just to make sure that you understand fully what's going on here. So without this overflow hidden, the text will be revealed all the time and that's why we need it. 
the border light is obvious. We use it for the typewriter cursor. White space no wrap ensures that the text will be on one line. And for the animations, first we have the animation duration. If, for example, you want to speed up the animation, just decrease the time period. For the steps, if I set it to 100, the animation will be much smoother because there are 100 steps in it. And if I set the step to 1, you can see that the text changes only when the animation hits the keyframe selector. But we want to have 26 steps because we have 26 characters and that will create the text typing animation effect. Step end is same as if we define step 1. If I change it to ease in, you can see that the animation of the typewriter cursor is much smoother. And that's all. I hope you've learned something new about CSS animations. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also give the video a thumbs up so YouTube knows that this is the real deal when it comes to CSS text typing animation. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.